Lewis Berry Schaefer, in his systematic theology, tells us that there are three essential factors that relate to the grace of God. Three things about the grace of God that we need to keep in mind. And these are very important. Number one, you cannot gain the grace of God through merit. You cannot gain it through merit, whether before or after your salvation. See, a lot of people want to do this little trick. We'll put the cross here as the point of salvation. And they'll say, if you want to enter salvation, you have to work. Paul says no. Romans 4 verses 3 and 4 makes it very clear. We're saved by faith without works. Ephesians 2 verse 8 and 9, the same. We are saved by grace. You cannot, this is just another word for merit. Look what I've done. You cannot gain the grace of God by merit. But some come along and say, well, you don't have to work for your salvation, but you better work to keep it. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. If you don't work, you're going to lose it. Then it's not a gift, is it? What is God, an Indian giver? When he said, he who believes in me shall never perish, he had the fine print like, you know, used car salesmen have. Buy this car, it's a great car, and uh, for one down payment, you can drive it for a year without making a payment unless you happen to breathe, eat, drink, sleep, the fine prints there, and then we charge you $10,000, right? <laughs> Who would turn the Lord Jesus Christ into a used car salesman? So you cannot gain the grace of God by merit. Now get ready. Because here's point number two. You cannot lose the grace of God by demerit. You can't lose it by demerit. Someone came up and said, but what if we deny Jesus? Well, we have an example of that, don't we? A guy named Peter. By the way, wasn't he the leader of the apostles? Uh, by the way, didn't he, he not only denied the Lord, he denied him three times. And by the way, not only did he deny him three times, he cursed and swore, I never knew him. And when you swore in those days, you didn't say, hell no. When you swore in those days, you took an oath on the God of heaven. Imagine saying, I swear by the God of heaven that I don't know who he is. That's about as bad as it gets. And when Jesus told him, you're going to deny me three times tonight, what was the very next thing he said? Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. And when God gives grace to you, he's not going to give it to you because he's good. And he's not going to take it away from you because you're bad. God loves you with an infinite love. And when you trust in his son as your savior, he loves you like he loves his own son, Jesus Christ. So you cannot gain the grace of God through merit. You cannot lose the grace of God by demerit. And you can only receive the grace of God by faith. What is faith? Because, see, now people are trying to rede redefine faith. Faith's belief, is it not? Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. He didn't jump through hoops. He didn't turn cartwheels. He didn't do anything spectacular. God told him something, and he said, I believe it. I believe it. How simple is faith? I'll tell you how simple it is. Jesus said, except you become as little children, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Because I'll tell you something I've learned. I've had five kids and ten grandkids. I never had a one of them when I showed them a picture for the first time of an elephant. And I said, there's an elephant. They don't look at it and go, nah, that's a giraffe. 
They never saw an elephant before in their life. And they can hardly talk and they go, Malefant. <laughs> yeah, that's an elephant. And you know what? The next day, the next week, I show them the picture and I say, what's that? They go, Malefant. <laughs> they believe it. They just believe it. Right? Like a little child. That's how we need to become. Faith is so simple. 